So, Josh, do you visit the Tivoli Food Court often? Um, unfortunately, I do. <laughs> um, but actually, this past week, I tried to be really good and bring my lunch every day. That's good. Although the meals I brought weren't necessarily <laughs> equally as healthy as it they is, are down It there. is a cheaper option. So oh, most definitely that's, it is. That's what I do. When they start charging you for parking, now the food, mm -hmm. I mean, it starts to starts to add up pretty quickly. And I feel like I just eat the same thing every single day. I know, day. you so really do. Know. Those McDonald's fries, I tell you. Yeah, don't tell yeah. anyone that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Douglas, are summer temperatures going to stick around for us or is fall quickly approaching? Yeah, guys, you know what? We do currently have temperatures really warm for today, but we do have that fall-like weather returning the end of this week. Right now, we're sitting at 81 degrees here on the Auraria campus. We have winds coming out of the northeast at four miles per hour. Our high today, as I, as I said, much above normal, 87 degrees, and our low at 56. Now, taking a look at your day and time, hour by hour, 84 degrees by the 2 o'clock hour. 84 also for your drive home at 4, and if you have any evening plans for tonight, we'll be at 81 degrees. Taking a look at your pollen count, again, as same, as, same story as we've had for the last couple of weeks. Pollen levels are low, and we're going to continue to see this number drop off as we go through the fall season. Now, tomorrow, we do have 80, a high of 85 degrees with sunshine, and our low will be at 56. But we do have changes on the way, as I said, so I'll have more on that coming up in just a few minutes. It's hot out there. It is. That's all I can say. It's warm. It's getting warmer earlier. I, I swear, walking around, um, walking around college campus, it, it is hot. Very, very warm, and especially with how many layers I got on walking I in know, today. I know. Mm. Well, coming up after the break, we'll show you what earthly object is out of this world. You know what? Living in Colorado, we really take advantage of how beautiful this state actually is. We actually have all four seasons, and fall is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, mine too, and they won't call it Colorful Colorado for no reason. That's exactly you know? right, yes. Have you gotten a chance to actually see what it looks like up in the mountains? You know what? Not yet, but I will definitely make a trip this weekend. Oh yeah, me too. Yes, and well, now that the leaves are changing, are things going to start to cool down, Douglas? Yeah, guys, you know what? We do have a cool down coming at the end of the week, so be prepared for that. But taking a look at this weekend, we're, we have mild temperatures, 85 in Denver, 85 at DIA, 78 down in the Springs. If you guys are headed to the high country to take a look at some of that fall foliage, you might run into a shower in Gunnison at, and with a high of 74. Grand Junction will be at 81 degrees and mostly sunny skies in Boulder with a high of 84. Taking a look at Sunday, that's when we have some changes coming through. Denver will be at a high of 81 degrees with mostly cloudy skies and a chance for a shower in the afternoon. DIA will be at 79 with mostly cloudy skies. Again, in the high country, Gunnison, 74 degrees down south. Durango, 77 degrees. Taking a look at your national map, we've got mostly clear conditions over here off in the east, and that's because there's a high pressure system in place. But coming back to the west, we do have this cold front that's going to be pushing through Denver, and that's what's going to be bringing us our rain on Sunday. So taking a look at that, we, again, we have that low pressure system sitting right over Denver, and we will see that chance for rain throughout the day, as well as up in Wyoming and other areas to our north. So taking a look at your five-day forecast, Monday, we got a high of 72 degrees, and we will see that chance for storms. 75 on Wednesday, 71 on Wednesday, Thursday, 65, Friday, a warm 63 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Much, much cooler temperatures later on this week than what we've been seeing, so you guys ready? I think so. Falls, I think it's finally yes. going to be here. Yes, and I'm just thankful that walking from here to there on campus, it's going to be much cooler and we won't have to arrive in class a sweaty mess. So yeah. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> just wait until we're all bundled up and freezing and wishing it was warm outside yes, again. Yes, then we're going to take back all of this. <laughs> all right, well, coming up, Erica Lloyd will reveal what popular TV shows will be back on the air.